Oh, okay. That's cool. Fine. We can definitely be able to get something for Magnus. Abduction's fine, but layoffs of anal probes. Don't worry there, cruel fang. I'm not going to be able to put... Uh, anal probes are beyond me. Uh, we go for goats As now. far as you know. We go for goats oh. now! Uh-oh. What? Breaking. What? <laughs> what did I just walk into? Something yes. about goats. Yes, we, uh, we, uh, we study goats. Oh. Yeah. No, just for that. Oh, for the love of... I have to go all the way over to goddamn kitchen. Drag and drop. Congratulations, you made it go away. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, all it takes is a single hydrate. And I made it do two. Ah. Uh... Jesus Christ. The love of God. Two of them. That's right, motherfucker. You're wasting 5,000. You say wasted. What? But one man's trash, another man's redeem. Exactly. Go. Buckle mine shoe. Anyway. Is that like a shoe in Minecraft? What? Um. I I hope so, because the other alternative is really, uh, fucked up. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Ah, piss. You know, we don't Even have... piss. We're always talking about it. I think there's something wrong there. Well, that's exactly what's about to f***ing happen to me if they keep on freaking making me drink agua. Yeah, but... You were always saying, oh, piss when you get upset. And you shared a song with me about golden showers. <laughs> Do we don't talk no, about that No, I can't help but wonder. <laughs> we don't talk about that song. Thank you for the pass there, 30th century Omar. Uh, oh, my God. That was a roller coaster. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and in the background while I'm going to go and get everything all settled here. Uh -huh. Didn't I, what was it? Uh, was it a sword or was it a short sword? It was a short sword, right? Or was it a dagger? I want to say it was a dagger for the plus yeah, one. Yeah, his, his was a dagger. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, hello, I, I pirate your little puzzle. Welcome to the stream. Yeah. Oh my god, How look at think? that. We are currently I missing... We are currently missing Cheeky today because he is currently in Puerto Rico. And enjoying the beaches. And oh, that's not a nice way to talk about people. Yeah. <laughs> son of beach. Uh, son of beach. But... However, more we do indeed have many people with us tonight. We're enjoying themselves. Let's just go ahead and see our technically fiend introduce thine self, Eos VTuber. Add your character. Hey. Eos. What? Introduce yourself. <laughs> I can barely hear you. Introduce yourself. <laughs> Do it. Hi, I'm Eos. I, I'm trying to find the stream. Can't find it. There's the stream. Found it. That, there it is. Hello, Hi, I'm Eos. I, I'm, I'm, I forget who I am. That, no, that is, that's actually on the part. That's actually <laughs> on par with what okay, currently is going on. Yes. Yes, that's why I said that. <laughs> Congrats. <laughs> you found the joke. Yay, anyway. And then we have Awakener. What's up? Are well, they going to be able to find you, buddy? Uh, they can find me on Twitter at Awakener810. They can find me on Twitch at Awakener17. 
And they can find me in my home if they know where I live. Okay. <laughs> and um, is it just me, or did when uh, Koji said Awakener, then it sounded like more like a, a wanker? <laughs> Little J, yeah. What's up with that, Koji? <laughs> you, you got something to say to me, bro? Listen, listen. Don't worry about it. Are you accusing him of gooning? Yes. But what's your character? <laughs> <laughs> My character is a level bright. They are a somewhat tall, uh, blunt, homogenous man uh, who still hasn't really had his backstory fleshed out uh, to public knowledge, but uh, hopefully we'll find out about that soon. Mm -hmm. And what of you, the deadlock of gamers? Man, oh God, when the my character is... My character's disposition matches my real life disposition. Everything sucks. What do you mean? Everything is awesome. Everything is cool. Everything you. is cool when you stab Gucci. What? Yeah, if he says it's awesome, I'm going to do it. <laughs> Will someone do that? Just go online and lie? No. no. So it must be true. Oh, hold up a minute. Stabbing with what? A rusty spoon. See, now that's the million dollar question, isn't it? <laughs> okay, listen, listen, we got, we got a, let's round it about and go for looking directly at Wolfie Sinister, staring at him hard. I don't want to. I'm doing it now. Wait, what? Introduce yourself. Oh. Um, I'm Wolfie Sinister. Find me on Twitch and Kick. What's your character? Uh, character that's Deepling, uh, ex general fighter thing. Hell oh, yeah. And we have Pyrazir. Ah. Uh, Rizzy, your little fire flower. I am paid Asta. I am, uh, what do you call it? Mermaid, um, ethereal. Is it ethereal? Astral. Oh. No, Astral it's Astral mermaid. It's ethereal. Link. Um, it's Astral merfolk. Yeah, it's Astral um, merfolk. I'm a little under the weather, so please excuse that. Uh, and I am a bard, so yeah. Sorry for my absence last week. Uh, you can find me on uh, Twitch and TikTok at pyrazi underscore vtuber. And at Pyrospace Z on YouTube, Twitter, and Reddit. Also in your drinks. Mm -hmm. How did you know? <laughs> this is good. I this is not good at all. What? Why? Why are you not wanting to work with me? Game. Game, I please. Don't talk to me! Hey there, Jade Peppermint. By the way, I am Koji Ketsumari. Koji Ketsumari VT on the Twitch, and I am the DM for okay. these lovely bunches of coconuts. We can find you on Twitch, but we're already on you. You know, you twist the channel. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, Where else you, can we find if, you? If you're suddenly here and then you just suddenly got lost and don't understand where the heck you are, here, I am here to remind you welcome to my channel. It is Coach Kids at Mari VT. There you go. <laughs> I Pyrus channel. What about my channel? Yeah, hey, what Pyrus? Oh, yeah, yeah, what yeah, about yeah, Whoopi's channel? Yeah, of course. You'll be able to definitely find uh, on Whoopi's Sinister's yeah. channel and, of course, Pyrus Z's channel. The, they are all lovely bunches of coconuts. <sighs> Here they all what about Whoopi's coconuts? Bunch. Oh, oh. All sitting in a bunch. <laughs> there they are, standing One. in a row. One star, two star, all as big as your head. Wait. Wrong oh, version. my. <laughs> <laughs> And I also play as all of the NPCs as well as, of course. Hey, my name's Gold. Go to it. Yeah, how's she going? As now, we meet our dearest hero, Vag. Uh, sailors. Our dearest sailors. Uh, that's currently lost into the ethereal expanse 
finding themselves stranded upon an island where they last time were able to cure a particular disease known as aether poisoning after consuming much of the aether itself uh which is pretty much like a thick liquid that surrounds here as the ocean of stars and expanse uh -huh. like a eulogy well, yeah, it sounds like a plenty of other people you shoe, but not, of course, two other people that are currently... Oh, uh, yeah, like three other people, I should say, because the Waker is capable of freaking just being okay with it. <laughs> <laughs> to be perfectly honest, out of all the times, <laughs> I'm rolling literally a natural 20 three times twice. in my damn roll. Oh, yeah, twice in a row. So, yeah, he's practically immune. Yeah. So, with that, but without further... Before we get started, can I share something funny that I came up with? Sure. Um, yesterday I came up with a funny t-shirt design that I, I wanted to share with everyone because it's D&D based. Uh, I'm calling it Nat 20s. And it's literally a t-shirt with two natural 20s in the place of the booba. Mm -hmm. With Nat written above it. I swear I've seen that before. <laughs> really? I, something I, similar. Uh, it was like, yeah, these are naturals. And it was like a 20s. Uh, <laughs> that's clever. See, I thought that my, my it was original. Fuck. I, I don't mean to be a buzzkill. <laughs> Damn Good it. Job, I thought it was unique and funny. Good job, yes. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> why, why do you got to kill Pyra's buzz? Fine, yeah. I'll leave. But without no. further ado, without further delay, how about all of you roll a d20 as per tradition today? Fucking tradition. Uh huh. What if I don't wanna? All is well within the realm of your rules. Welcome roles. back. I seriously thought it was a unique thingy. I'm sorry. I can't roll a 1d20, why? I do not know. Oh, I said rolling, not roll. Oops. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> ah, that's about par for the course. <laughs> all of you roll, you well, you all but one of you rolled lower than I did. No, no, keep it up! <laughs> oh, what now? I'm missing one roll. Yeah, that's me. I'm sorry. Give me a second. One. Ah. Ah. Okay, dear. Yeah, I am. That's why I'm here. Why, you think I didn't get into here just uh, with just playing good looks? Yeah. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> what? This is you what wasted, you get. You wasted a nat 20. <laughs> what do you mean? He has them in spades. Speaking <laughs> of nat 20s, uh, Awakener just rolled a nat 20. Uh, <laughs> you know Way to be on topic. Damn. Man, I'm just going to ignore it for the time being. I'm just going to do my thing and just... <clears throat> But yes. Uh, uh, why is he down as Koji's dom? Don't ask <laughs> questions. Don't, want don't to ask questions. <laughs> hey, what? How, how did you guys <laughs> change your names on this website anyway? Don't ask questions. Oh, oh okay. that that I can actually, actually answer you. So, in the area where the chat is, if you go to where the gear is at the top, you'll actually be able to see your display name, and that's where you're able to change it. Ah. Okay. God damn it, I might to change your fucking name to your character name. First I can't be your master, now I can't be your dog. Make up your fucking mind! I want you to be Maybe you can be a sub. Maybe you can be a sub. God damn it. I think someone's jealous. What do you mean jealous? Yep. What are you talking about? You don't yeah. want to be domed. We get it. What? Or is it better? Or... <laughs> Or is it more of a sexist thing? You only want to be dominated by a woman. Wow. Wow, Koji. Um, wow. I oh, thought uh, we knew you better than that. 
Hashtag cancer Koji. Cancer what? Oh my god, that rolls off the tongue. Get a trending. Come on. Get a trending. Please don't get a trending for the love of God. Hey, at <laughs> least you'd be trending. Everyone yeah. asks, who's Koji? Who the fuck is Koji? I mean, I mean like several 15 Kojis. minutes of fame is 15 minutes of fame. True. That's Some there's... people will still check out your thing. Look at what yeah. happened in the Whoa. side in the Doki Bird. Hold on, there's a minute. Wait, Doki wasn't getting cancelled. <laughs> I no, Niji tried to make it. Niji tried to spin it that way. Ah, fair enough. Um. All right. <laughs> I just now saw what a wicked to put in. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, a wicked. <laughs> I like what ears put in too. <laughs> Son of a oh, what are you like? Oh, I wouldn't notice it till now. Oh god damn it. Coach right. Kitten just sounds so fucking weird and fitting. What? <laughs> Thank you very much for the gifted Shelby Wobby for Panda Boy. And hello there, Panda. I hope you're doing well. Oh, you doing? 126. No, Two more days left of the competition, guys. That oh, wait, no, it'll be three. They really want that damn poster, damn. <laughs> yes, you are. Bip your sweet bippy, they do. It's a nice poster. I mean, Very it is weatherproof. Oh, yes. And spunk proof. Not that okay. I had to do a okay. test. <laughs> okay, what, what is spunk proof? <laughs> like, tell me. <laughs> okay, my sweet dear summer child. If you don't oh, know, no. you don't want to know. <laughs> I have an assumption, but I want to hear from her. <laughs> don't worry about it. Well, um, you can actually wipe it down quite a bit. Uh -huh. <laughs> Who is in uh -huh. lead? Um, I, I, I don't actually know yet, Venomous. Don't, don't change the subject. <laughs> I think it's divinity at the moment. Give me just one moment currently having to deal with some technical issues. Uh, well, um. I got it so that it was weatherproof, so that if just anything viscous gets on it, it can be cleaned off multiple uh -huh. times. Um, oh, and one more month until the sub, baby. Oh my god, yes, let's go. Oh, Awakener, thank you for uh, resubscribing. Thank you. Welcome. Uh, the Go, fire yeah, I would subscribe feels... to you too, but uh, finances <clears throat> are kind of tight right now. Wow. The, the, the fire bidet feels sensational right now, and... Uh, we got a hype train. We got a hype train. Do, 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 do. Oh, Thank snap. Thank you again. Thank you again, Venomous. I really do appreciate it. Ooh. Venomous saw me gift one sub and decided to four up me. <laughs> yep. Yeah, Ooh. Thank you. I really do appreciate it. That poster is yours, is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Eos got gifted a sub too. Ooh. Thank you so much, Renovus. I really do appreciate it. I love how I look at Wolfie's stream. I just see them almost falling asleep. <laughs> uh, I think Cody died in us. He said he womp, had to go something for it. So I guess... He had technical difficulties, apparently. Oh, I actually didn't even <laughs> hear that. Hey, am I not, like, deaf or something? I'm not hearing anything today. Really? <clears throat> Apparently. <laughs> Is it bad that my first thought was imagine wanting to hear Koji? <laughs> well, I mean, as a DM, we kind of have to, whether or not you, we you want know, to. That's fair. That, that's fair. <laughs> He's a DM. He has no rights. 
I, I wasn't going to say that, but okay. <laughs> He's there for our amusement. Exactly. Yeah. Why do you think we spend so much time trying to derail his uh, plans? I got a wild start. What? I don't like being on a one track. All right, oh, here no. we go. Yeah, that's much better. Welcome back. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, as of current, uh, okay. three of you have decided to return from the Magnus's ma magnificent, magnificent magical menageries and thank you for the teddy bitties oh teddy bitties oh oh teddy bitties oh, 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 yeah thank you Crumpy for the teddy bitties sorry I got bitties mm-hmm and oh yes you do mm-hmm <laughs> <laughs> with I wanted to be able to make sure that I get the name chart this time again. Yeah, with Nail, Gorge, I... Gar, and Seer. No, wait, Siri le was left behind. So, yeah, Nail, Gorge, and Garg, and Godwin. There you go, now you're cooking with me. Crisco. I can't believe that's the missed out on getting to meet Magnus. You didn't miss much, trust me. I only just casually sold my soul. Someone tried to offend him and fail it horribly. So as you four come back, receive uh, Asta. You do see a sword currently floating around Godwind. Wait, who's Godwin again? <laughs> the uh, the guy you built the house you're staying in. Ah, right. Sorry. Yeah. And, uh... I mean, that's one way to put it. Now looking even more lost. Huh? Are you alright? Was that you actually asked us in character, or was that, like, out of character? In character. Okay, sorry. Although I would have appreciated a recap, Mr. Storyteller. I was in the process of it, and then immediately I got sidetracked because of Teddy Bitties. <laughs> <laughs> it's your fault. Hey, uh, Pyrus well... Bitties are not Teddy. Flip that around. <laughs> no, no, keep it as is. What? But yeah, I was in the middle of it. You guys came back from... Yeah, okay, hold on. I said that you guys were lost. You guys were able to go... Uh, Siri and Asta both found a boat, went out into the uh, ethereal for just a moment, only to be attacked by the wolves. And as they were able to just narrowly escape after killing two and wounding two others, thus the final one also fled with them. You all were able to just get some well re uh, a well-deserved rest with Siri and Alevo currently just staying with you, Austin, to make sure that you are we will be able to be fully healed. Gorge, in his infinite wisdom, thought that meat pie sounds really good after sniffing out said delicious treat. And as George got, mm -hmm. got treats, no treat, 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 no treat, 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 no treat. Oh, god damn it! So no cow heads for George then? No cow heads for George. But uh, as those four did indeed walk up, they met with a very old and rickety type of building, which didn't seem very safe to even tr uh, tr trudge upon, until Gorge came up and was able to witness as a filigree M suddenly appear right before him. Ooh. They opened the door only to find the entire store, the entire old rundown store, well, being exactly that, old and rundown. But the floorboards completely rotted with the shelves completely caved in, the glass 
um, the glass counter completely shattered and most of the armor either rusted on their posts or completely into dust. However, when they all went in, they see a whole new sight as everything seemed to be reverting back into its glory days as they meet a purple and gold trimmed robed person high elf by the name of Magnus. And after setting out a deal with Magnus, three of them, actually, no, two of them, I guess I don't think Garg actually wanted anything. Did no. they? Gargra had refused anything from the mage, which he soon came to find out that he's not just some mere mage. He is indeed a lich. Wait, they already know that? They were able to, well, Garg was able to figure it out. Oh. That was what the wisdom was for. <laughs> okay. Uh, and... Um. With did, that, did anyone was any of these menagerie uh apparent? Well any of Magnus's pets present? There is no Magnus's pet. Okay. However, what they did find oh wait, oh hold on. Actually, I know what you mean now. They did indeed see a zombie that was stacking shelves. Ah, Thank you again, Metavis. And as they pretty much as Godwin decided to go ahead and obtain two items. Yeah. A batch of healing potions and a sword. Um yes, I believe it was a batch of six, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Twelve. Twelve? Twelve. Yep. Which have yet that. which have yet to be able to be revealed upon what exactly they did, other than of course heal. I'm not the one drinking them, so somebody else will find out. Are any of my mods present at the moment? Because it looks like we got a couple of bots. So, as you all return to camp, what do you do? I'm gonna deliver health potions to Siri and Nasta. All reason for doing it. I think nice. But... Oh, yes. And Nail, you have received yourself only one item, which was a dagger that had venom in it. Hey. Where are we? This place is rather run down, is it not? Is this your home? Why is there a lady there? Don't all answer at once, I guess, then. It's just fine. Uh, there's not much confusion here, or... I mean, as far as I'm concerned, this is just where I'm going to get... Timbers was able to build his little hut, and um, my name's Gorge, Gorge, and use a nail, and that's a gog, and that that's an oster, and that's a strange smelling person. As he points directly towards you there. Hello. No. So On a second. You said my name's Nail. Who yeah. the bloody hell names himself Nail? I don't know, you did. Wait, you, you don't was, remember? The heck is wrong with me? Remember what? How you came to be here? Not really, no. One second, I'm just in the sop, looking at a dagger. A right fancy one of that. The last thing you remember. Said that. 
Wait, it'd be at this little shop over there, looking at a dagger. A right Wait. fancy one at that. Shop? What shop? Nail just kind of looks over at Gourds. I don't think she's right in the head. Everyone apparently knows about that shop, I guess. Apparently not her. I mean, she didn't come with us. Well, to be fair, that shop is more like a myth. A legend. Can something that exists be a legend? Clearly saw it. Uh, what? I mean, I don't know what the hell you are, so you exist, and you gotta be legendary. That like makes two of us. Heck's a unicorn. You, you've lost your memory again? I mean, again. Koji, uh, since I was present, would I know that he bartered his memories for the dagger? Yes. He bartered his memories for the dagger. Wait, what? Why? Have you seen Wait, this thing? How? How, how did that ha What? Powerful what? undead lith magic. Don't question it. Traded memories for, for a dagger. According to this lot, it's apparently 21 days worth. Seems like a fair trade. Uh... I don't think he realized that that is his entire life. Oh... Right. One day's worth seems like small compared to us, but that's like his whole life. Yeah. not good uh well um i'm asta uh you you saved me in the waves and then we saved everyone else here uh, from a shipwreck uh, except for that person and the big guy hi uh, my name's scorch scorch yet there she goes Oh, right, you gotta drink fighting wolves. You should probably drink this. Oh, oh, thank you. Um, very helpful. Thank you. What is it? A healing potion. Oh, I remember hearing stories about these things. Okay, yeah, sure, thanks. I think these were superior healing potions, weren't they? I did regular. Oh, like, regular? I was only going to get two superiors. That's right. For the yeah, bargain, so then I chose regulars. But they're more powerful than meets the eye still. Uh, you done editing my character, Shikoji? Sorry. <laughs> So, so where is this shop? Gone. Oh. Pity. However, I also bartered and bought a way to get to it. We just need a door. Oh. Let's they're go and make one. They're not so common. Oh. I suppose I could build a door. I think you were going to put a door on the outhouse thing of a jig. Which, I find it odd you didn't put anything in there to hold on to for a while going. Oh, that was weird. Look, I was exhausted from building the actual house. Okay, I didn't have Sorry. much time. Kind of just cobbled it together. Fair enough. Koji, what's that potion do? Now I'm curious. I've given it. I must know. Given it and have it Asta. has been drunk. Alright, so here's what's what's happened. Asta. 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 Listen. Hard, okay? Look, it's not my fault that you can't get someone's name right. 
Or that you have blood circulation issues. Ah. Exactly. <laughs> anyway. Hello. Thank um, you for the raid. Let's go. Hi. Asta, as soon as you drink that potion, you can go ahead and roll 2d4 plus 4. Okay. Uh... Oh, hot. <laughs> Six. <I> mean, <laughs> as you heal for six. Thank you. As you heal for six. You can begin to feel your wariness just seem to go away. As you feel like that you've just undergone a restful sleep. Oh. And any sort of part of you that you think was actually gone begins to regrow. Oh. Go ahead and roll me a d4. What part of you do you think that went missing? I didn't think that I lost a part of me. Um, uh, let's just say... I, I just thought that I had a damaged arm. Right. Hold on just one moment. Is this better? Uh, yes, yeah, sorry. Good much, God. That's much better. Wonderful. Okay. Okay, for the time being, let's say that since you are dry, you had one of your pinky toes that was actually lopped off by one of the wolves. You okay. will be able to see that begin to grow, and that will Ooh. grow within two hours. Creepy. Oh. I didn't know I could do that. She keeps looking at it and looking at everyone else. I didn't know I could do that. I think it's the potion. Oh, right. I, 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 I have not, um... I, I haven't spent much time out, out of the water. So. Now... Quick question for you. Yeah? Where does one get an ethereal pearl? I know you have one in your possession, but I will not take yours. Uh... In the water, but the with the clam, um, and the oysters. I mean, I, I could probably find m more. How did you know I had an ethereal pearl? Ah. Uh, uh, uh. Lich magic. Uh oh, okay. Yeah, that was the price of the healing potions I got. Oh. And it's Whoa. on a tab, so I need to find one of those. Oh, okay. Asta, I want you to go ahead and roll me a perception after drinking that potion. Fourteen. After tasting it, and you still have that very weird aftertaste, almost metallic in a way. Oh. Weird. What? Why is it taste like that? <laughs> and Koji, I have an ethereal pearl. 
what? Yeah, that's the one that the elder gave you. Around your neck. Oh, right. I'll... Where can they be found? Very hard to find. Yeah. But... Potentially somewhere out in the depths of the ethereal sea. And to be actually more precise, they're not ethereal pearls, they're ethereal gems. Uh, um, well, the gems are really hard to come by. Uh, my Mine was kind of a big deal when it was given to me and sent out to, uh, yeah. They're, they're very hard to come by. Uh, mine means a lot to me. El the uh, Elder gave it to me. Uh, to be fair, they did say they weren't trying to use yours for the price. They wanted to go out and find another. Yeah, I uh, just need to... I, I, I know that they can be found somewhere in the expanses of the, uh, the ocean, but I'm not sure where they don't clump or anything. Well, here's hoping there's pirates on these waters that have someone will steal it from them. Yeah, maybe we should get, we we'll be able to find some of some filthy gift Yankees. Alrighty. You know what? Hey, Koji. Yes. I'm gonna build a door. <laughs> Alright. And as you guys are currently resting up, I'll say that this would definitely be a long rest for you guys. Okay. Cool, I get my lay on heel hands back. And I get my body concentration back. Yay! Woo! -hoo! So, oh wait, you said long rest. My exhaustion's gone too. Yay. I was about to say, man, if that exhaustion was still there, I'd about to have disadvantage on that ability check. Well, it's a good thing it's not an issue anymore. <laughs> no, no. Alright. So, Coach, you know where I'm going with the door, right? Mm. Alright. You, know, you know what I'm doing. I'm going to inscribe the M on it. All right. With the chalk. Please don't tell me you're going to put that in the outhouse. It stinks in there. I don't think you might appreciate that. No, yeah. no. It's, it's on our shack's front what? door. What? Wait, is that, that the outhouse? No, it's on, it's on our main house. Oh, L I Like, like a, a backyard shed he made. It's, it's on the door for that. Yes. In total, we have like three buildings, if I have record right. So we have outhouse, backyard shed, main house. Where does he keep getting the wood for that? I'm the one helping. Surrounded by it. Alrighty. As that filigree M indeed takes form. Oh, wow. Why do you want a gem when you've got something that does that? I need the gym to pay a debt to the guy that I just summoned. Oh, right. But because you were injured and Aleva was ever so kind as to stay with the injured people, I believe y'all deserve a chance to shop with this thing. Great shopkeeper, just a little creepy. 
The moment that Thomas at three M immediately just gets finalized by Godwin, you see underneath the door lights begin to come on. As a oh. very melodic music begins to enter into the air. Ooh. This man, he's he said this thing is a myth, but he just summoned it right here. I don't think he knows what he's talking about. Or maybe I'm just his legendary baby. Yeah, no. Not buying that one for a second. How do you know man. what a myth is? I don't know what anything is. Didn't you barter your memories? It's still common sense, is it not? I just can't remember what they are. How do you have common sense? Don't ask questions you don't need to know the answers to. I would maybe, tend to maybe. agree. Maybe they don't know the answers themselves. Or on why they know this. Well, Magnus, Magnus, this is rest of party. Party. This is Magnus. If you need something, ask him. As he pays more than just money. Huh? Wait. Huh? As you see, right over by the door, it completely opened. As you see a broad grinned high elf with a purple robe and golden trim. Ooh. As he places his hand right towards his heart and uh, his thumb towards his chin, almost an in intrigue. Oh. My, my. Well, greetings, new members. It seems that the one over there seems to be quite tired. Though I do have services that could be able to alleviate any sort of soreness. An inn, perhaps? You have an inn as well? Oh, indeed. But I wouldn't necessarily suggest you looking out the windows. Why? I would take my word for it. As he gives you a wink. Hey, you got any more meat pie? Uh, no. What? Why, why would you bring up the topic of a question and then leave it unanswered? It's a riddle in itself. Don't look out the windows. Huh? Hmm. You're not making any sense. Hmm. Can't really go on with, with life. Just have to be able to uncover every mystery now, can you? But that's what I'm about. I, I, I need to know. I need to share. Well, there are this particular things that most should not and cannot share. Why? So filled with questions you are. Aren't you? Oh, unfortunately I've run out of my questions. You've run out of curiosity. Hmm. So you know how everything works. Most things. And why everything works. Yeah. That is definitely a question. And you're keeping it to yourself. Indeed. Why? The universe would be boring if adventurers figured out everything that they needs to know. I would know. But would not share? That's a little rude. Hmm. It would also take any fun out of adventure. What's the point of going to explore if everything has already been explored? Well, it's me there. He gets yeah, me. I guess. Or maybe he's just sucking up because you're so pretty. No, I'm just uh, going toward the logic. Like, I myself am an archaeologist. I like to go and explore ancient ruins. That's what I do for a living. But if everything has already been discovered and there's nothing else for us to learn from the past, what's the point of my job? 
I wouldn't have just left it with the flattery. To be perfectly honest, I would actually very... It's immediately just kind of fans himself a little bit. After all, I do enjoy a bit of flattery. However... Uh, flattery? Hmm? Nothing. Did you? Well, I could say that there is indeed one curiosity that I would like to be able to have, and it is indeed concerning yourself. Uh oh? Wait, you you don't well, you're not expecting me to tell you that how how to um travel through the astral sea, uh, are you? Unfortunately, I cannot be able to even exit my shop, so let alone I cannot travel these oceans. <sighs> A big wave of relief hits her. <clears throat> and it is, of course, a shared question with yourself, as he, uh, as he points over to you there. Eleva. Question being... I, I just kind of got lost. I lost track of all the questions. So that's fine. What would you all like? What do you mean? Well, I am a bit of a spellcaster, so I'd like to expand my spell-based knowledge. I want to be able to defend my friends or advance my personal ambitions that currently my expertise in magic does not currently cover. How intriguing. Yeah. That's right, you're you're a type of shopkeeper, aren't you? You you sell different types of stuff. Indeed I am. If you I am Magnus of Magnus's magnificent magical menageries. Oh, uh -huh. And I have everything you may need. Except for answers. I suppose so. But then again, it'd be able to take the sails out of your own quest, would it not? Little priestess. I'm not a priestess. Not yet, anyway. Hmm. Come on in, come on in. No need to be able to just sit there and gawk all day. As he turns away and begins to go through his... Well, not go through, but go deeper inside of his shop. That Asta follows in. And looks around. What you will, those of you that are in here, what you see is the floorboards completely just pristine and almost made of, I believe I said it was oak. I'm gonna go with oak. I think mahogany's better. Mahogany would be the, <clears throat> the pretty much what the glass case is currently sitting on, as well as the bookshelf. Uh... Whereas there is indeed a crimson rug that currently just rolls all the way towards the glass countertop. And you do indeed see rows upon rows of books, as well as rows of armory and bits of weapons currently hung perfectly, almost seemingly like it's hung mid-air. But you do see a couple of prongs that do indeed hold it steady with exact precision. Uh -huh. And of course you see a display case before you that is has golden type of aspects around it, as well as of course, all sorts of trinkets that lay within the glass. Trinkets and many more. On top of which, above this particular countertop, you see above him is indeed a balcony. Now, you do note there's, despite all the light that is in here, the balcony itself is still remaining dark. Oh. 
Almost like there's a shadow hanging over it. Or... Oh, exactly like there's a shadow hanging over it. That's and weird. slowly and sloppily, or uh, not really sloppily, clumsily, walking in, you see a zombie stacking up the shelves. A zombie what? What does it look like it was before it died? It looked like it used to be a pirate. Uh, specifically, a, uh, specifically a dwarven. Huh. However, for most of you who were in here, it was a completely different type of zombie. In fact, the zombie beforehand was completely human. Hmm. Uh. So you wish and thirst for knowledge? What do you desire? Uh. Uh, honestly, do you have any... Uh, seems I'm going to be spending a bit of time out of the water. Uh, do, do you have any uh, we weapons that could use a bit of rain? Why, indeed I do. Though the type of range that you're looking for, are you looking for a longbow, shortbow, crossbow? Uh, not, not really a bow. No. Something else. Any sort of oh. firearms, I presume? Wait, what do you mean by firearms? Oh, which is the things that the pirates actually wind up using on the decks of their ships. Do well, pirates. Oh, I say pirates, but mainly the other types of uh, creatures aboard these ships and upon these waters. Uh, these firearms are like metal tubes that, um, with a pull of a type of mechanism, launch a projectile that indeed harms someone. Huh. From a good distance, too. Uh, 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 are they noisy? Oh, quite. Know how I feel about this. Could could I try try one to see if this is what I I need? Hmm. I I don't know. You know it might not. I I don't know. Maybe it won't work. I don't know. Uh, Stepping away from Linda. Well. We do indeed have a firing range of sorts. But before we get to you, madam, let's go ahead and get to you, the level. Alright. You wish for to seek for knowledge. What sort of knowledge do you pertain to protect your friends? Anything specific? As much as being able to protect what friends I do have what would be nice. The knowledge that I seek is... I'm not entirely sure it exists. For you see, I am trying to find a way to essentially split one being into two. And not in like a gore-like fashion of just a person of brute strength ripping someone apart but to divide a person's essence essentially into two beings there is something that is close to that nature two different types of beings of fighting procedures one is known as the Fractured, which are of a brutish nature, and another are known as an Echo. 
but I think I can be able to obtain the essence of these two types of being. But it would be hard. After exactly all, I believe that trick. one of your own companions also has such a ability that's laid within it. That's laden within them. Interesting. Hmm. And for this knowledge, for this ability to do so, what would you want? Surely it is no small feat if even you were saying that it's difficult. He has a broad grin to stretch across his face. Ah, oh, yeah. Now, when it comes to these sorts of things, I am no practitioner, but I do know of one who is. So, it depends upon whose soul that you're going to be wanting to split in twain. Personality like, over soul, I should say. Uh, are you wanting it to be like a permanent split? Yes. Huh. If I really must explain it to you later, I shall, but this is not the time. Oh, okay. Sorry. So I know the essence of your heart there, Lavo. But it will take time. And my price as it stands. Hmm. He begins to count onto his fingers for a moment. And looks back towards you. I desire your physical heart. What? Knowing you, you have some way of making sure that it's still able to beat even if it's not in my chest? Indeed. Wait, no. if you have their heart, does that mean that they can't die? Oh, sweet hostel. There are certain secrets that you must soon be able to know later, for it's not my jurisdiction to step in. As he looks over towards you once again, dear Levo. However, I'm certain there are certain secrets that you wish to keep in. Fair point. So, if I agree to this, what changes can I expect to see in myself? It will be gradual, but it will definitely end the same way that you would desire. With there being, of course, another you. I would pertain to say... That it will not be a very comfortable type of um, happenstance. What, what if by splitting themselves into two, one of them ends up like super weak while the other one ends up here in Pervia? What mm. wouldn't that mean if one dies, they both die or what have you? Oh, that is the experimentation and chance. <laughs> I'm willing to be able to make in order to make sure that my customer is satisfied. Uh oh, okay. How about it, there, Levo? It is certainly an intriguing offer. That is possibly the best 
lead I have had on such abilities in a long time. I would like to be able to let you know that you expected within at least two months. It is a very difficult procedure. I hope you understand. And should this procedure not yield the results that I am satisfied with, what happens then? That is when the deal gets interesting as a sheet of what appears to be parchment that's completely tanned appears into his hand and he brings out a clipboard to be able to smoothly sit up set it upon and hands it to you as you do witness this being a contract heart for one means a heart for another. If this binding contract fails to meet its end, then the bearer of which could see the equivalent change of the other's heart being upon the other. To be reverted right. or to be owned. So if they don't like the outcome, they own your heart? I like to make a gamble. Fine. I'll accept your deal. Very well, then. But what are you going to do with that heart? And a white feathered pen appears into his hand, and he hands it over towards you. I will take the quill in hand, and I shall sign my name. As you sign your in, name? You in a language that only my family would know. Ah. And as you sign your name, you immediately feel your entire essence of your being just seem to be sapped away as you will gain an exhaustion and lose a hit, uh, and lose a hit die. Oh no. And now? How are you reacting are... to the seven pin of exhaustion? Uh, just out of curiosity, when it comes to a hit die, what, what does that mean entirely? When it comes to a hit die, if you ever go into a short rest and you are low on health, you would roll that hit die in order to be able to regain that health. Okay. So essentially, you have signed not only a blood contract, but a contract utilizing your own soul to write upon it. Okay. Uh, as the exhaustion hits, uh, Levo is going to uh, stumble a bit before finally, like, passing out. Well, not passing out, but, like, falling into Asta's legs possibly tripping them. Uh, Aleva would then say, sorry, Asta, I just... That... Sonic, that took a lot more out of me than I thought it would. I... Mm. Are you alright? I, I think I'll be okay. I, I'm just... Uh, I'm, I'm a bit tired. I, I'm gonna go take a rest before you go my payment uh, yeah do what you gotta do as he reaches for your chest either one of you can be able to go ahead and roll perception as he inches towards where your heart would be Twenty-two. Asta, you begin to see the hand of Magnus slowly rot 
away the closer he gets to Alevo's uh. chest and goes straight uh. into Alevo's and, and he just seems to slide very smoothly into Alevo's chest before quickly yanking out the heart. Huh. And believe it or not, his hand is completely clean. Uh, what? Uh... <laughs> that, that, that was weird. Now, to be able to utilize this type of heart... Oh, how very intriguing. What, what do you mean by this type of heart? Do not worry so much. Again, that is a story not of my own to share. However, the contract will be fulfilled. And if you are dissatisfied, then you may have my heart. Why, why did your hand do the... skeleton thing? Oh. Okay. Do you not know? Not know what? Then leave it be. But if you thought I already knew, what's the harm in telling you? Asta, I, I will explain all later. Just for the moment, finish your own deal. Alrighty. Well then, Asta, if you wish, please follow me. Uh, okay. As it begins to glide across the floor, you begin to go between amongst very bright halls where you see murals of grand adventures. Like you see a couple of them where there's this party of four that's going against a five-headed dragon. You see what stems to be a giant amongst giants towering over a party of five. As he's, as they all appear to be kneeling down before it, that giant. Then you see demons and devils seem to be wreaking havoc, but six other adventurers begin to fight back amongst the chaos. Oh. And soon oh. He, he goes before a door and opens. Where you see... Beyond a large field where there's three hay bales. That they do indeed appear to be about a hundred <clears throat> feet out. Oh. That's pretty far. In a slight bright light, the heart within Magnus's hands just soon disappear. And three bit, uh, three different types of weapons appear right before a particular bench. What do they look like? You see a very harsh, uh, looks like a thick steel type of a thick steel type of rod that is coat uh, that is surrounded by a bit of wood, a very dark wood. See this, but it would be very dark wood. Ebony? Yes. Yeah, an ebony type of finish to it. And you do see that it looks like that there's a stone that's currently cocked back and a little bit of powder that is completely coarse and black. That's currently right onto a dishpan. Oh. Okay. And... Huh. So... I'd be able to get... Do any of them say like they have like... Two... Personality to them? That one does indeed have personality. You do see, of course, yet another more smaller type of uh, weapon. 
that looks to be a hand size, but it has that same exact type of um, mechanism. A little bit more lighter wood. But, and its target is currently about 30 feet away. Trying to be able to grab. Yeah, the first one that you see, it was about 40 feet away. The other one was about 30 feet away. And the last one that you see is indeed a longbow. A longbow that looks like it's coated in blue and pearl. That's currently settled into the front. Huh. String itself. How far that would stop it. That one's target looks to be 300 feet away. Whoa. But continue, sorry for interrupting. Mm -hmm. no, that's perfectly fine. You do see a very particular type of sheen that does cover this bow, as well as slots that are currently in within the handle. One of these slots is already filled with a yellow gemstone. And there are a total of three. So how do I test these? Well, let's first give it a go with the musket, shall we? The As he picks up the long rotted one and places it gently to your shoulder and gently guides where your hand should be able to go. Okay. Now, this is going to be quite the kick. What? This is going to be quite the kick. How, how is it going to kick without legs or tail? You see that little button right there that your finger is currently wrapped around? Yeah. Go ahead and pull it. Okay. And as you she pull... Does. As you pull a resounding echo of a Boom! Just suddenly rings out. I want you to go ahead and roll me a d20. Okay. Eleven. Eleven? Right. And what's your dexterity? Sixteen. That would be a plus... So plus three. Three. You actually hit the target. Hey. You hit it right onto the out, not necessarily on the outskirts of the target. You are hit at least the second ring from the bullseye. It's a little oh. bit of a setback considering how loud this particular weapon is. It does utilize, of course, using both hands. That does indeed require, are indeed required. But it does indeed take up a little bit of time. It does? But mm -hmm. I'd... You uh, would have to be able to utilize your uh, your next movement, uh, i.e. bonus action, to be able to load it once again. Uh, oh, okay. And now for the pistol. As he goes over towards the next weapon and he instructs you to be able to hold it with just one hand hmm. now take aim and pull that mechanism once more okay so go ahead and roll, roll dexterity this time 18 you narrowly almost hit the bullseye this time Oh. Uh -huh. This particular uh, weapon ring is known as a pistol. Even though it does have short range, it does indeed pack, pack less of a kick, and it's actually much more easier to be able to reload again. 
It is? Indeed. Though you do have to be able to make sure that you utilize your... In case any sort of creature does try to be able to go away from you, you won't be able to unfortunately take any sort of means to attack them again. Oh. I, this will use a reaction. Yep. Okay. Now this... This is indeed a very intricate type of bow. A bow that's actually made by a very ancient sort of... I guess you could say elf? But to call him that, it won't necessarily bode very well. Oh? Indeed. However, the maker of this and his land, they make sure to make everything as equivalent to even a firearm as much as possible. I want you to go ahead and... Fire, uh, utilize your dexterity, but plus your proficiency, and do it with advantage. No, wait, not with advantage. My bad. Uh, how do I include my proficiency? Um, do you have any sort of weaponry that actually does... Do you have a no, bow? Uh, no. But I am proficient with, um... Hand crossbows and longbows. Oh, wait, okay. no, that's a long sword. Yeah. Well, this one you will be immediately proficient with. So you would be rolling dexterity and then adding your proficiency bonus. Which is... Be right above the... Right above where your skills is. Oh, so in the saving throw. Oh, proficient. Oh, there it is. Okay. So dex plus that. Okay. Eight plus two is ten. And... It would be plus three again. It would be 13. You narrowly miss the 300 mark. You hit it right into the corner. And you see Magnus actually stroke his chin. That is quite all. Usually, usually the equipment wouldn't be too... I believe it would possibly be mainly your aim, but that's not that bad. As he takes the bow away from you and kind of looks at the gemstone. Yes, this is still currently working. What? Hmm. Here you are. Give it one more go. Uh, 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 okay. Roll it again. And there's a book. And right then and there, you hit it almost dead center. Oh, wow. And that's how far away? 300 feet. Wow. Now, this is definitely a ranger's weapon, indeed, but this is also. For anyone who wishes to make sure that they hit their mark from furthest away. And it is quite quiet, as you can clearly tell. Uh, uh, <laughs> does it work at things closer than that distance? Indeed. It can be able to work all the way up to as long as you aren't necessarily too uh, encumbered by any sort of enemies surrounding you. What, what's the closest enemy I can shoot with that? Potentially 10 feet away. Oh, well. 
So it goes between 10 feet and how many feet? 300. Three, so 300 is the maximum of Indeed. Uh, Though I haven't quite been able to test that theory, only because this is not that far away, and also I only have about 300 feet of room. That's fair enough. That really is quite... What's the gem for? You see, that gem right there is what gives it its kick, what gives it its... Accuracy. Oh. Okay. That's really cool. Indeed. Though the person that made it made sure made sure that it was only useful for only that. He is indeed quite a purveyor of making certain types of weaponry. Oh. Believe it or not, he calls his entire shop the Dreamer's Weapons. Yeah. Very bold. Very stupid. Wait a minute. Did you just say dreamer? Yes. How's it spelled? The D e R E. Yeah, D R E A M E R. Right. Carry on. What? What? Why? Okay. But then again, it was indeed the uh, common tongue. For him, it is Dremora. Oh. Thank you for the answer. I, I, I like it. What, what, do you, what do you want for it? An interesting prospect, isn't it? It's a worrying mm. one. Considering he took his heart. And I am kind of tempted to be able to steal your beautiful singing voice, but I'm not going to be able to go with that. That's too rash. However... Oh, um, that was, uh, that was not funny. <laughs> hmm. There are two things that I could be able to desire from you. Your necklace. Or... Well, technically three, to be perfectly honest. There's 25,000 gold, uh, that if you can be able to come across that, but I highly doubt it. So it would definitely be between the two. Hmm. How about your ability to see in the dark? What? You want to take my ability to see? In the dark, specifically. What, what use is that? To you. Oh, I can be able to you use... You might right. be able to sell off that ability to someone else. Oh, yeah, right. After all, this is a shop, right, Magnus? Indeed it is. I, I, I guess that would be alright. Then we have a deal. As once again another parchment appears, as well as a clipboard, as she print presents it before you. Before she signs, I'm going to step in stum stumbling along the way and just be like, and if she is not satisfied? Yeah, what if I'm not satisfied? For example, if the enchantment decides to no longer work outside of the boundaries of your shop. They've got a point. 
What then? Oh dear. You were able to catch, get away with it too. Very well then. If you are not satisfied, you can have my sight. Which would mean what exactly? Who here can be able to turn invisible? How do we have any evidence that you can? I... Then here. I... I shall allow you to be able to see invisibility this once. As he snaps his fingers and your both of your eyes begins to glow. Ragnar, I need you to come here, please. As once again the Warven zombie just kinda stumbles in. Here, drink this potion. It takes it, downs it, and for you all, for just a moment, it does seem that he just fades. He tr turns transparent to you. Huh. And you don't see Magnus do cast any sort of spell as the zombie begins to walk around and begin to get right behind him to his left. And Magnus points at the zombie, and immediately it catches on fire. Without even looking directly at the zombie. What? Uh, what, what, why did you do that? What? Here's yet another uh, pawn to be able to serve me, but you do not need to worry. But would that suffice as proof enough? Uh, y yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll at least buy into it for the time being. Mm. No, I never stated, and I'm no devil. So I'm not going to be going to cutting corners here. Okay. Now, from what we were told, you are a creature of very different variety. Indeed. Pardon me if I am being forward, but I was told you were a lich. What? Oh. Direct is always the best policy. But yes, I am a lich. But a lich who is not here to harm. And not here to devour your souls, in the very least. That much has been evident by the fact that you've been more of a shopkeep than you have been the terrifying monster of legend. Hmm. And I'm certain that you've heard of many liches before me. Uh, not, not, not really? Oh. There have been tales that have been passed down. Hmm. Yeah, I, I've heard of a couple, but... Not, not many. Do not worry. After all, I am a merchant first and foremost. Oh, okay. All that I ask, however, is for you not to cross me. As uh most have. As he looks directly back towards the dwarf. And back to you. Are you saying that if we cross you, we belong to you? In a matter of speaking. Uh, okay. So no causing your any of your items become faulty. You get the picture? Was wasn't planning on making that happen. I'd rather it work. Uh. Perfect. And with that, do we have a deal? 
yeah, I, I, I guess. I'll, I'll go ahead and nod to uh, Asta to let them know that I think it's safe to sign now. Hmm. And this is uh, going this to be is, fun. I, uh, what? This is going to be fun. Watching what? over what? such adventurers such as yourselves. Oh, I, I see. And she sighed. You once again feel an overwhelming exhaustion as you take an exhaustion point and lose one hit, your hit die. Okay. We be glad that I did not decide to be able to take away your fins. Yeah, I wouldn't have done that. <laughs> I wouldn't have done that. And with that, I believe, if you have nothing else that you wish to gain or be able to, well, barter. Is there a, what, what, a way for us to be able to come back if we're replaced or lose something? Why, your dear Godwin has the exact answer. Oh, okay. There's a deed, a piece of chalk that's inlaid with a particular gemstone. It only has two more uses left, however. So use it wisely. Well, that's why I bought two of them. Hmm. Did you want to put my bow into my coaching? Just to let you know, you gain a feat with this bow. Ooh. The feat being sharpshooter. Nice. <clears throat> Are you going to put that on my sheet, or should I? Yeah. Well, go ahead and put it on your sheet if you uh, if you can. While well, I'm going ahead and doing this. And as you all begin to go ahead and head outside from Magnus's shop, he gives you all a little finger wave and a broad grin. I hope to see you all soon. And I hope to be able to hear the many stories that you're able to bring. Yeah. Maybe next time we can share some stories. I would love that. As the door shuts behind you and the song of the melody immediately dies out, Billy Gary M seems to action away. So, um, how was it meeting the bowman? It was intriguing, to say the least. I, uh, he, he didn't like answering questions. Speaking of questions, I got one. So that damn man, he yoinked me out of that person's chest, but your voice, that was too far? I think his priorities are a little whack, if you ask me. Oh, oh? Do you have a way to communicate with them that isn't through speech? Yeah, it's called writing. Oh. And what language do you write? Give me a second what? while I pick my brain, because I totally forgot. Um. <laughs> what do you think I read? You know, Celestia. After all, you did lose your memory, so... Celestial, Ethereum, Common, apparently Elvis, I don't know why. I just have the feeling I can understand it. Uh, oh, okay. Celestia, by the way. Ah, eh, that's not what I expected from you lot. What do you mean? 
Every time I ask a question, you kind of kind of go silent on me. I think uh, you know either. <laughs> try to understand. I'm not going to do anything about Celestia, uh, as far as I'm concerned. It's where I... all the weird ang- eh, 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 eh. Holy That's all, folks. Uh, listen, I have no I... idea what the heck they're called. <laughs> I also can't say where on my character sheet my language is off. Uh, oh, bottom left. Oh, I, I, I can see some of I, I can read some of them, but like a Tyrion. But yeah. I guess the point I'm trying to make is why is her voice so much more important than whatever the heck you put out of their chest? Uh, because I'm a bard. Kind of part of my magic. I'm just gonna assume you know what you're talking about and go along with it. Maybe for the best. I'd have to agree with you there. Yep. Thank you for putting in the um the bow on my sheet. I, I'm just surprised that my dark vision was all he was asking for. A swimmer? Does that mean you can't see underwater now? No, I can still see underwater. I just can't see in the dark. Isn't it dark down there? But I have I bioluminescence. Just... Parts of parts of my uh, ocean form glow. I guess that makes sense. I figured you wouldn't see very far then. But you had a swimmer here. Not really. Not really, but yeah. There have been tales of uh, the folk that traded their voice. It didn't go well for them. So that would have been a big no on that front as well. Oh yeah. Mind if I ask what you mean by that? Like, what kind of stuff happened to them? Um, they, they were, uh, cursed to forever be outside of everything when they really wanted to feel connected. Um, and eventually, their loneliness and their tears of not being able to connect with anyone just turned them into waves, into sea foam. I guess that makes sense. Also, thank you for not saying they couldn't say. I was fully expecting that. Oh. No. Stories deserve to be shared. They deserve to be known. Everyone should know how to get out of trouble. Especially if there's any legends or stories about it. That can help. Oh. Although sometimes it is just part of the cosmic plan that things go pear-shaped and everything turns to shit. But that doesn't mean that the knowledge of the stories can actually help the cosmic plan actually come out the right way.
but I'm always happy to share a story. Sometimes the greatest comfort in all the world can be a story that can teach you something, or even just alleviate the confusion of the pain. When you're so serious like that, I guess like I can understand why you say that by being passionate about your voice. Yeah. So what did get taken from that one lad? What? Uh, what that would be that would be my heart. And do you need it? He doesn't seem that caring about giving away. It's considered one of the most vital organs in the body for physical people. Then why did you give it away so easily? I'm not questioning you. I'm just curious. I hope it's worth it. If my dream's able to be fulfilled, it will be. Well, that's that rather funny. ominous. <laughs> Why do you want to be split in two, anyway? Let's just say I wasn't exactly one person to begin with. Oh. Oh. What if they, you don't get divided the right way? Well, then he doesn't have to worry about me not being satisfied because I won't exist. That's a pretty big loophole. As he said, roll the dice. Yes, but is it really worth it? One way to find out. Good. I got a meat pie, brother. Man. Was it a good meat pie? Very delicious, actually, yeah. Wait, what did the meat pie cost you? Um... Uh, a fake... Um... And <laughs> begins to pat around himself. He took me money... And... I think it was... Five? Five, um... What's the very yellowish, shiny things? Gold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in a magical place, you just got an ordinary meat pie. Oh, I need. Something tells me that actually fits this guy pretty well. Yeah. You yeah, so are an insight check rising. I mean, if you want to insight this, if you want to insight You know this. what? Why not? <laughs> I haven't done enough dice rolls tonight. You look at Gorge. You look at his axe. You look at Gorge again. You look at his... For some reason, him scratching his ass. Then you look back at Gorge. Yeah, that kind of makes sense. As far as you know, his okay. simplistic okay. mind only ever requests food. And you have been at least out there with him before, with his desire only being the thrill of the hunt. But my dude would not remember that, so... <laughs> exactly. So yeah, as far as you can tell, he's... I checks out, I suppose. <laughs> He's telling the truth. Okay. As far as you're aware. Rolls in that 20. Analyzes the deepest meaning of courage. It's not that 20, it's a dirty 20. I know. I'm just saying, if you roll for like, If I got that 20. Yeah. 
The contours of my mind are an enigma. Spills milk. I just got an idea for another t-shirt. Oh no. <laughs> I'm not gonna say a damn thing this time. So Oh, it's then... like the last one, the D20 on each tit, but the dirty written above it. Yeah. Okay, see that one? I've not seen. <laughs> so with that, you guys been able to go ahead and relax for a little while. Are you guys going to be able to head out to be able to try to explore the island? Okay, Atakata, I don't know if we should, if um, if uh, a couple of us are not here, being uh, I, Hi, I'm, boy. How you doing? I'm being cheeky Good and uh, deadlock. Deadlock is here. Right, well, they, they, they said they stepped away from the computer because they were feeling bad. Yeah. They did talk again. Oh, Deadlock's kind of muted, so I wasn't sure. Deadlock? And Wolfie's not been responding either. Oh, I've just been listening. Oh, okay. And again, imagine listening, Koji. <laughs> By the way, Koji, Squid Boy says hello. Hello, oh, Squid Boy. Squid Hole. We can't really we'll focus on chat right now. <clears throat> anyway. But we were in a lull. <sighs> I guess the question is like, should we continue? I, I I got fine going on. I just don't know if we should with them being like not here. Well, if Dylan doesn't answer me, then we can be able to go ahead and end for the night. I mean, yeah, we no. could try and rest, considering we've, a couple of us have exhaustion points. You can do that. Alright, which one of you lot going to be the one sleeping in the outhouse? They call it a house, right? So I must be able to be slept in. Yeah, yeah no, I it's think... not for sleeping. I, I don't even know if I want to be pooping in there. I mean, I've also heard of them being called the shit shack. Heck, you called it that? Seems like a weird name for it. Yeah. Was it the block over there with the axe? <laughs> what? I call it that weird name that she said. I already forgot it. Something sack. The, the, the shit shack. Ah, alright. I don't really know if that's a yes or no. I, I I just don't know how how it can work without a you know a pole to hold on to while you're doing it. I mean it's probably not for sure I just shit right over there. He I just wanna say something. Like I'm just... not going to. What do you mean? Uh, Merfolk go like sloths. There's this creature called a sloth that holds onto a tree and hugs it uh, when they go. Big smile on their face, uh, from what I heard. Uh, that's kind of how Merfolk do it too. What, is that weird? I will follow. Hold on. It, it just seems kind of weird to do it without something to hold on to, is all. Hey, you just let it slide. Although I guess it'd be different doing it out of the water. 
because I mean I wouldn't want to do it in the fresh water here because I mean that's that's your drinking water. What? Uh, but uh, yeah. We could always start to we could always start to guard one and see what we can do about adding a pole. True. Very, very true. Out of character I just pictured an outhouse with a stripper pole. <laughs> out of character, you kept saying to me to hold on to, I kept wanting to make a dick joke, but I'm not going to. <laughs> it's fair, it's fair. Out of character, I whispered to Asta. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you have something to hold on to right? like a pole or something it's like uh, most guys do yes um, thank you <laughs> <laughs> oh, how did really you know cool. that, that would be the messiest strip show I've ever seen <laughs> and so oh, so we can end on maybe <laughs> <laughs> I am sorry for bringing up the outhouse then. No, you're not. This is no, not really I'm the well. one that decided that merfolk go like sloths. Okay, that one's on me. It's like, I don't know if that's true, but I'm also afraid to fact check that. Oh, no, it's something I came up with. I thought it'd be funny. Okay, fair enough then. <laughs> Turns out it's just her own weird thing. <laughs> but she thinks they all do it. No. And with that, <laughs> as you all begin to just enjoy talking about how one shits, <laughs> the night seems to be able to be calm. And the day soon rising, as the majority of you begin to wake, waken, when suddenly here, a loud explosion. Shit, not again. Coming from the south. Not the outhouse. And that's where we'll Look, end the man, I, I, I had to blow it up. Not in the literal sense, but a figurative one. <laughs> How could you without anything to hold on to? <laughs> <laughs> and this is why I created that detail. <laughs> Dare I say, the outhouse may be the butt of our jokes now. Ah! <laughs> and with that, we're going to go ahead and end. Oh, it certainly is for Asta. Ah, 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 ah. Ah, 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 ah. How many oh. god dang memes can we get in this uh, one session? Oh I don't know, give yes. me a chance. <laughs> did the ah, the ah, answer ah, is one. yes. We did the uh, treats, no treats one. <laughs> What else we got? Hmm. <laughs> no treats! Okay. Okay. No treat! Your treat oh. is in the outhouse. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! <laughs> so... Okay, I kind of want to see you do a percep- uh, the, uh, nah, not perception. What the hell is it? Uh, deception check. <laughs> George loses. Anyway, uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh, that wasn't a very tasty treat. That was a very tasty treat. Tasted like shit. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> what an interesting choice of words there, Gorge. <laughs> this is a shampoo. Is dog do? <laughs> if anyone gets that reference, I'll be amazed. Oh. <laughs> And so, with that, we shall go ahead and... and like something for the little rascals. Yeah. Billy and Mandy. Close enough. <laughs> what really, I, I didn't... I thought... Yeah. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. You know what? Blah, blah, blah. You know what? With the blah, 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 Wolfie. Yes? Where can the people find you? With the blah, 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 blah. Oh, uh, <laughs> you find me a Wolfie Sinister on Twitch and Kick. Awesome sauce. Oh, where can I be able to find you? 
at Awakener17 on Twitch, Awakener810 on Twitter, and in my home if you know where I live. Hi, where can I be able to find you? I'm in your spank bank, as well as piracy. Yeah. The underscore <laughs> and, and where would one might find the spank bank? Please tell me. <laughs> <laughs> no one touches my spank bank. I mean, what? Oh, Koji! <laughs> oh, I just want a pirate spank bank, not yours. <laughs> oh, there are a lot of ladies in there. <laughs> hey, yo. <Hello. laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, just ex I, just expect a lot of pictures of Vezdeth. <laughs> calling me out? No, I'm calling, calling Koji out. out. I'm calling <laughs> Koji out. But uh, Eos, where can the bill fund you? I hadn't finished. I hadn't finished. Oh, okay. Finish. 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 Uh, you can find me at piracy underscore VTuber at Twitch and TikTok and Pyrospace Z on Reddit, YouTube, Twitter. That's all for now. Uh, Sasius. Yes. Oh, I'm Sasius. <laughs> I was so confused. I uh, don't know. Have, have you seen my PNG? I think I'm the saucy one. <laughs> oh. You, you can find me in your walls if you know where to look. God damn it. Uh. <laughs> Don't uh, basement. Uh, that's where Deadlock lives. Yeah, Eos is in me... the attic. Wait, 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 wait. You telling me you don't go to visit Deadlock? You nah. He's in the attic. Koji said no. Oh. Wow. Anywho, I can be found on Eos VTuber on Twitter and Eos VT on Twitch. I play an air hockey game. Please come, you know, laugh at me, I guess. <laughs> oh, yeah. But don't worry. Deadlock does get his tentacle play. Yeah, he's with me. That's why I'm the attic. I'm the tentacle. <laughs> ah, well, you are a squid. Yeah. But base. But do you like to play games? Just said he does. That one broke me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why it did. It just fucking did. I he's fucking dead. He's fucking dead. Anyway. I, I play air hockey. Leave me alone. I love air hockey. But yes, yeah, and, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. and you all indeed know me, Koji Ketsumari, BT, of all you? things, on the twitch.tv. That is right. Hello there. Hello there. Air hockey is good. Yeah. Air hockey is good. And I am also Koji Ketsumari on the Yacht of Tubes. And you may be able to... He has a TikTok, but he never posts anything. Listen... Bro. Uh, I don't understand how to work with the tick of toxins, and I can't figure it out. I'm too dumb. I'm He's sorry. got a toxin in his brain. Yeah. I mean, I did have to huff a lot of it. But anyway. Oh, hello there. We shall see you all. General Kenobi? <laughs> we Before we go, actually, do you want to just do uh, deadlocks yourself? Well, uh, you will be able to find Deadlock in my basement, as per usual. Considering that he is currently absolutely uh, horrendously sick, illness, jaggedness from a surgeranius. Don't look into that word. <laughs> <laughs> he will not be able to uh, speak out about him, but we do all do indeed enjoy your all's company. So who shall we raid? Today. That is a good question. Who should we raid? Oh, crap. Should we see if someone else is playing D&D &D and see if we can raid a D&D &D game? That would oh. be wild. I love how I was about to say, oh, I have someone who's playing D&D &D and this is Wolfie. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. Oh, it's like Raid Wolfie, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Well, yes, you ready to get paid? Ah, damn it. <laughs> uh, hmm. There's a V2. Uh, what about Story Reckless? Story Reckless.
Well, they're, they're live. We can definitely be able to go ahead and raid them. Ooh, How about everybody? Oh, I like the artwork of the characters. That's nice. Oh, yeah. Okay. Do we have a D&D specific raid message? That is a good question. We need a D&D specific raid message. You wrote on that twin and us raiding you? I don't know. <laughs> I've asked ye on the ethereal seas what I'm coming up with. Nat 20 raid. Would Nat work. Nat 20 raid. I think and then I'm adding a couple of playboys. Alright. <laughs> Okay, here's the red message, guys. Please copy it and uh, paste it uh, when you get there to let them know who sent you. <laughs> Griff says you've been plundered by nitwits from the Astral Seas. <laughs> That's a good one, actually. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm just doing that 20 raid with some flames in there. Uh, S T R R Y. There is man. Let's get this raid underway. You guys have been awesome. Thanks so much for hanging out with us today. We really do appreciate whole bunches. Uh, my next stream will be uh, tomorrow, will be later in the day because I will be collabing with the people in the UK. Uh, so uh, keep an eye out to be uh, updated on when that begins. Indeed, and tomorrow I'm going to be able to try to attempt VR Subnauticus. That is my nightmare. I do not envy you. I am looking forward to it. Because I fucking enjoy yeah, that one sounds like it would be kind of terrifying. It I is. It. It's gonna be crazy. <laughs> I, just, I have thalassophobia, so I hate that. It's gonna be fine. I'm gonna be fine. I worked in the All ocean right. before. Well, yeah, that's where your ship is. Yeah. Bye. Until next time, I'm Pyra Z, your little fire flower. Oh, I'm Koji Kitsumori. Well, that's right. Sorry mm -hmm. for cutting you off there, Koji. Perfectly fine. Very not. I'm just like that you've always oh, yeah. been doing it this entire fucking stream. <laughs> Me too. Oh wow, I'm raiding with a party of eight. I didn't even realize I had that many people in my stream. No. Who did you guys raid? Story Reckless. Gotcha. Story Reckless. Giving them a nat 20 raid. <laughs> okay, so can I post something in chat? <laughs> Go for it. Yes, yes. Uh, I was gonna post in the car chat. I'll delete it a bit if it's like too much. Yeah. Okay. But so this is for Pyrus. <laughs> yeah. Just, I wasn't. I wasn't kidding. <laughs> oh, one. Okay. So. Okay. Uh, maybe. Oh. Yeah. I don't know. If it's <laughs> what? Say, you see in the right, general so chat, in yeah, the, in the call the, chat, in the call. As oh, right. Sorry, I was wondering, wondering where, and it's just like, wait, well, huh? Um, I'm gonna say, uh, I only really have so many screams. Because, uh, uh, this is clearly suddenly an aggressive act as you start. Did you say uh, screams or screams? Uh, screams. Oh, that is not the picture that I had for it. I know. I was just saying that's that's why I was thinking in my head when you were saying a t-shirt design. Ah, a wide stance. Mine is. Love you, you lovely degenerates. <laughs>